All right, peeps. Today we're actually adding a step to those um, graphing inequalities that we talked about on Friday and a little bit on Thursday, I believe. Um, with your graphing inequalities, uh, remember the first things we talked about. Um, you look at your equation. This one says y is less than 8 or my answer is less than 8. So open circle because we don't have the equal to sign. It can be around that answer, but it's not going to be equal to that answer. So remember, if you have a less than or the greater than sign, those are going to be open circle. Or open dot if you have the less than or equal to equal to or greater than or equal to sign those give you the closed dot like i have there i'll do this here because i need to write those down again real quick all right so an example from the other day like i said we had y is less than eight so since it was less than we had an open circle and since my answer is less than eight my arrow points at everything that could be a possible answer. So my arrow is pointing at all the numbers that are less than 8, which would continue in that direction. Today, we're graphing one-step inequalities, which means we have to use our one-step equation practice that we did, like I said, last week. So starting off, I have f plus 6 is less than, or, sorry, is greater than 15. I'm going to rewrite that because that green is kind of hard to see. Hopefully you guys can see the brown there. Sweet. Remember, and if you need to watch the videos from last week, you can. You do the opposite operation on both sides. So the opposite operation would be the opposite of plus 6, which is subtract 6. Also, y'all, for these ones, you actually don't make the graph until the end because you've got to know what number is going to go in the middle. And this number is actually going to change when you do a one-step equation. The opposite of plus 6 is minus 6 on both sides. These are opposites, so I don't have to do the math. I'll bring down the f. f is greater than, as far as that makes, 9. So we know f is greater than 9 is my answer from this problem doing the one-step equation. So now I can make my graph with 9 in the middle. 8, 9, 10. Greater than means I have an open circle. And since my answer is greater than 9, everything greater than 9 could be an answer choice. I will do one more example of this just in case you didn't pick it up the first time, y'all. But like I said, it really is just putting those two skills together that we talked about in our class last week. So I'm going to draw one more up here. This time I'll use W divided by 3 is less than or equal to 15. So before we can do the graph, I know I need to finish the math. I'm just going to draw the graph up. The opposite of divide by 3 is times 3 on both sides. These are opposites, so they cancel. I get just W right here is less than or equal to 45, which means 45 is going to go here. Since it's less than or equal to, I'm going to have the closed dot. And since my answer is less, my arrow is going to the left at everything that is less than 45. On line peeps, the assignment shouldn't be too much for you guys today. It's only going to be about 10 questions. It'll be similar to the one last week. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, y'all please send me an email. Thanks, guys.